All right, I found out something extremely important. If we are creators and we have karma, what happens to us or what we think about our neighbor happens to us in a sense. Well, how we treat our neighbor is how we're true, right? What we dish out is what we get. And everything is based on agreement. If everything is based on agreement, then we're actually saying that your reasonings and your thought process dictates the world around you. As we stated, this is the deep, uh, the depth of it. So when the, this is extremely important, that what's important is to understand what it is that you are saying to yourself and to others. The definition. The meaning. We we look at uh, sh uh, being sure of yourself. And other things pertaining to the concepts. So when you are around someone, they are a personification or a combination of a concept that is in you or not in you. This is deep because it is exactly like programming. And a person who you are with is a, the actual personification of those things, a true personification of those things. So when, so technically, if we are in the matrix, the chosen one would be a true user. Someone who is truly conscious. And the world that they are living in is that is a mirrored reflection of that user. This game is about words, sentences, clauses, and concepts that, let's say there's a user here, and you take those concepts and, you, uh, and ideas and thoughts and personify them into the world around you. That is who your wife is, and the, or your husband. And this is actually a um, like a video game that is built around coding. You know, these little segments of lines of code, of ideas. Just like in a regular game or a regular code, you come up with an if and statement. After that if and statement you make that, it actually becomes something like a person or a, a, a program or a reflection of the user in reality, in the actual hard written reality for real, for real. Because 
everything is based on agreement and what you see on the inside is what you see on the outside so this is an inevitability of truth so with that being said our handbook outside of the Bible should be a dictionary and in a dictionary to understand the true definition along with synonyms and the antonyms and to pray over those things that those are the things that dictate the world we live in to get a greater understanding because when we pray over those things and rid ourselves of them, ban them then that in an essence is getting rid of a person that could hold those frequencies and it doesn't mean you're getting rid of the person. You're you're getting rid of the frequency when we pray over these, over these things, and dictate them in our world. That's like a control or delete, and then the agreement of them is truly passed away. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means that it goes into a holding area almost like a trash can it is not truly deleted when you send something to the trash can on your phone it's not deleted it just goes in the trash can and it becomes separate from the rest of the program or the rest of your phone that is what the abyss is it is a quarantined location And Gehenna is actually when it is wiped clean from the program, truly forgotten. This is not a that has to register extremely deep because that is what this is life, and it's like a game. truly deep so that is what that is I understand it for what it is and may God keep that view in front of us knowing who is what and what is what in their lives in order for us to truly be in harmony and be so in the name of Jesus Christ Amen